Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the assert in Playwright. Playwright has an inbuilt uh, library uh, to do the assertion, which is really helpful to avoid uh, flaky assertion. For example, when we are trying to like verify a text, it will wait until the text is available, then we'll do the assert. If you see in Selenium, of course, we have functions like is displayed, is enabled, is selected. So that will give you the value immediately. It will not wait until we write the uh, explicit wait. In Playwright, it's the wait is like inbuilt. Whenever we do any assertion, it will wait for like the default timeout is 5000 milliseconds. That means like five seconds. So it will wait for five seconds to change the state or behavior of element or the locator. And then it will do the assert, which is really handy. And of course, we have like a lot of inbuilt methods. We don't have to write or use the functions like locator dot is visible or is enable all the stuff. In Selenium, mostly we do the verification with the help of like get text, um, is enable, is selected, is displayed, right? And maybe get attribute. Yeah. But in play, right? Like if you want to verify some placeholder or some uh, the CSS, of course, we have like all the functions inbuilt. I will give you a walkthrough on that. I'm not going to give you demo for each and every function because finding the websites and giving you that will take much time. But I will give you the how to use it and overall explanation so that you will be better at it. And there is also one disadvantage in Playwright with Java binding. So we don't have like soft assert. Um, I don't think we can expect this soft asset in Playwright Java binding in the future because I read some thread in the GitHub and they are very clear about it. If you want better assertion, you can go with like testng where we have like hard and soft asset and also like assert j, j library or maybe like j unit library. But the problem here is we will get the hard and soft asset in other libraries, but we won't able to utilize the auto weight feature. So it again, it becomes like selenium, which is not the intention here. So I will leave that up to you how you want to make use of it. Uh, mostly we go with the hard asset because if there is any failure, of course, we want to stop the execution. Whereas in soft asset, it don't stop the execution. It will just continue. But at the end of the results, we will get that. So I will leave that up to you. If you want to use hard and soft asset both, probably you can go with testng JUnit or the uh, asset J, I believe. Or else if you want to stick with the core functionality of Playwright, I would recommend you to use this same. Okay. So as we move to the uh, libraries like test runners, we'll uh, see which one is going to help us in a better way. Okay. But yeah, the soft asset is already there in Playwright with Node, uh, the JavaScript and the TypeScript version, thanks to the Playwright test runner. Okay. So that is why I recommend always use to go with TypeScript, but most of you know Java. So yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go and start the tutorial. It's going to be really simple. So I'll just make it very simple as it. So we can do the assert in three ways. One is for the locators, one is for the page, and also there is uh, API testing. So Playwright has like inbuilt API testing uh, functionality as well. We'll talk about that in some another video. Okay. So today let's focus on the page and the locators mostly. Okay. So I'm just going to navigate to this particular site called let go dot in and here uh, let's say that i want to check if the header is input or not okay so i can go and inspect and i know this is going to be my h1 so i can just uh, grab this one right so if you want to get the text you have to use like text content and then it will return the text as a string and then you have to use like to be something right but in playwright we don't have to do that we can easily do that so for example i can say like page dot locator and the locator is going to be h1 so i'm going to store that as a locator as header and i can use the assert function so for that we have to do some um, import okay so if i go to the documentation here you can see like we have a static import that means we don't have to create any um object basically okay so here i can say like assert that and here you can see like we have three overloaded functions with api locator and the page so i'm interested on the locator for now then i can say like 
um here we have like contains text or also we can say like as text which is basically your like equal contains is like of course the contains function you know that so let's go with the as text and here i'm going to say the text as input that's it once we we are done we'll just close this like playwright.close to save some memory let me go and execute this it's going to be very simple actually that's it we got passed so we didn't get any um, console logs here let me make it fail okay so i'm just i'm going to do it like input one and i'm going to right click and run as java application so here you can see like we are expecting an error that is fine but we won't get it immediately so here you can see like it's waiting the console is still disabled so now we got the console after five seconds that means um, here you can see like the default timeout is five seconds of course you can increase or decrease as per your application record so we are expecting a text to have like input one but we got as input okay so this is how playwright um this particular thing is going to help us for example let's say that i am not going to use this assert that instead of that i'm going to use something like assert j test ng or j whatever you feel so here i'm going to say like how i have to do in the sense like i have to get like text content and that will actually will not wait for anything right so if i ask the text content it's going to give me the text content content immediately so the advantage of using assert that is basically it will wait for given amount of default timeout so that it if the element if the locator state is going to change or the behavior is going to change we can make use of that okay i hope you are able to understand why i'm not suggesting to use any third party but if you really want to use the um soft asset probably you can go with that okay so yeah that's it now let's see a few other things okay so here i'm going to say i'm going to use the page as well so let's go and use this like two um sorry so it's going to be like has title or has url you can use and of course there is like you can use the uh, regular expressions using the pattern and you can use the uh, string so we have like overloaded functions you can use as per your requirement okay and also there is like has title option we'll talk about that now so let's say that we have this title which is let code with something let's go and find the title okay so interact with input fields that is the title i'm going to copy and paste over here and here we have some options so of course without this also it will work so just a title verification if you want to have some uh, options so we have something like um, has title options then followed by of course the same constructor thing again and again which i really don't like okay so sometimes you see when we say like has title options uh it's not giving suggestion because we have to do the import okay so when we do the import then we'll get the suggestions okay so here i can say like dot and here we have only one function which is not very handy i guess set timeout so set timeout when it will help in the sense like for example when the title is dynamic it will take few seconds to change right so if you go to the flipkart website and if you navigate to like mobile or mobile or electronics uh, title will be same for a few seconds and after a few seconds it will change to the app appropriate title so in that case set timeout can use can be useful okay so not useful for r in this example but yeah just for your reference i will leave this and yeah let's go with uh, url as well I said that and here I can say like to has URL and I can give the URL which is this one yeah let's go and run this now
yeah, it's got failure because we forgot to change this and you can see like this guys didn't execute because of course it's a hard asset by default it's hard okay now let's go and run the same let's see so i have changed the value so everything should pass now let's see so far we're just going with the java main method but in future of course we'll change this to um test ng mostly but i will also take a look at the j unit if it's really going to help us okay so yeah so we learned like how to and also how to assert a page now let's go and take few more examples so i'm just going to uh probably let's say that i want to value i want to verify this value okay so here i can see like i have a id called um join so i'm just going to copy this and here i'm going to say like um of course you can use the like here also you can say like page dot locator and the locator value and then you can say like um so we want to verify the value right so here i will say like has attribute and the attribute is like value and the value is going to be this one i may good okay so what is this this is basically if you go and inspect this guy so here i can say like it has an attribute called value and the value is equivalent values i'm good so here i'm just doing the verification okay so this is how we have to verify any of the attribute for example let's say that here uh, we want to um verify this placeholder right so let's go and inspect so here you can see like we have a placeholder with this one so same thing applies here as well just you have to make it like placeholder and here you have to give the placeholder value okay now let's go to some other thing let's say i want to verify the radio and checkbox okay so here you can see like the bar is by default it is checked i mean it is selected it's a radio button so i can go and verify this one so here we have a id so here i can say like assert that and then followed by page dot locator and the locator value is this then to then i can say like is checked so is checked in the sense like of course we are uh, of course we are checking for like it should be selected if you want to negotiate this you can use like dot not and that's it we will be able to do this now if i go and run this of course this is going to fail because the not foo is already checked this checked can be used for like a radio button as well as like your checkbox and i have to navigate to this particular site that i forgot so let me go and do this manually okay before that itself we got exception so let me go and travel to that particular page let's go and run this okay so here it's waiting for the five seconds and then we'll get the exception like we are expecting this to be not to be checked but it is actually checked okay so if you want to make it pass just remove this not guy let me copy and paste the same code and comment it out for your reference and here i'm going to remove the uh script. okay so let's go and verify this one Yeah, so it got passed of course you can see that yeah so let's go and see few of the other methods if i give you the demo for everything it will take a huge time which we don't have to use okay i mean waste okay so first of all here if you i'll just leave the links in the description you can go and check it out directly and one more thing is like how to set the timeout it's very simple uh, what you have to do is you have to do the import static one more time and here we have to select set timeout uh as a default assistant timeout yeah and then you can say like set timeout it's a default assistant timeout and you can do something like let's say that my application is very slow and i want to wait for like 10 seconds 
of course i can do that okay so the error message will occur or the checks will happen within the given timeout okay so yeah that's it very simple let's go and learn few of the functions so first of all if you go to the documentation again the link will be description you can go and check it out so content text of course contains you know java string functions it will check for partially so if you want to check something you can just use this has attribute we have learned has class is also very similar if you want to check for some kind of like classes in the particular locator you can use the has class has count in the sense like if when we interact with multiple so in our previous video also we learned like uh like dot count function so that is what has count is all about as css if you want to verify something like your uh, background color text color uh, then you can go with this one okay has id mostly we don't have to use it but yeah you can do it and there's something like js properties uh which i haven't used it so i'm not sure about you can read the documentation as text has value has values has values in the sense like same concept but uh, it will accept an array of values for example if you want to verify like particular values within the drop down you can go with like has values as value is also same but it will be mostly used for like input um, where like let's say that we have input field where we are expecting some kind of only phone number then of course the pattern we can use and we can pass the like 0 to 9 should accept similar things you can do okay is checked is there is disabled is there is editable is there is empty is empty is basically like uh, if you clear something if you clear a text box and it got empty you can use the is empty there as well and is empty is like we have a warning message but we are not expecting any warning then you can go with the is empty so basically like uh, a web a element without any text okay and then we have like is enable is focus is hidden is visible and if you want to do the negotiate any of this function you can use like not then followed by the function name okay so that's it i hope you are able to understand and in the page asset we have only like url and the title we don't have anything much so that's fine um that's it for this video if you have any specific queries about how to assert something do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to reply back okay so yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes